Hey guys, what is up? How are you all doing today? I hope all of you are good and I have not made a single video for about a month because I was busy with my exams and studies and my exam is finished so I am back with another video. In this video I am going to share my thoughts on the new MD's Ryzen Threadripper and I know that uh, this name sounds cool but I am going to compare it with the new Intel's i9 lineup and the Core X series. So without wasting any more time we should get started. Towards few months back AMD has announced that they will make a 12 core 24 thread processor and after hearing that Intel has also announced that they will also make some new series called X series and a new lineup called i9 lineup and on this i9 lineup we have the first processor called i9 7920x this processor have 12 cores and 24 threads with 16.5 megabytes of cache memory and it has a base clock of 2.9 gigahertz and this will cost you around $1189 and if you have a bank of money lying around then you can grab one and if you are a technology enthusiast like me and don't have that much money to buy some new series like this one uh, then just watch it on YouTube and be happy. So on the other hand we have the new AMD's lineup called Threadripper and we have the first processor that is called 1950X with 16 core 32 threads and has a base clock of 3.4 GHz and it can be boosted up to 4 GHz and it will cost you around 1000 bucks mind it guys you have a 16 core 32 mind it guys if you have a mind it guys you, you have 16 core and 32 threads in AMD state deeper and cost you only 1000 bucks and on the other hand you have the intel's i9 lineups first processor and has 12 core and 24 threads and cost you 1189 dollar just 200 freaking bucks higher than AMD straight river so the second processor of the i9 lineup is called 7900x and it has a 13.75 megabytes of cache memory and it has 10 cores and 20 threads and has a base clock of 3.3 gigahertz and it will cost you around 989 bucks and on the other hand we have the new Threadripper 1920X and again guys on the i9 lineup you have 10 core 20 thread and on the Threadripper you have 12 core 24 thread and that is $200 less than the Intel's new i9 lineup. So if you want some more cores and want to do video editing or render some footage, want to use Handbrake and many other editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects then I think Having a Ryzen or Ryzen Threadripper is quite a good thing because it has more processing powers on a cheaper rate. And the next processor we have seen in Intel's X series is i7 7820X. It has 11 megabytes of cache memory and it has 8 cores and 16 threads. And the base clock of this processor is 3.6 GHz. These are all unlocked processors, so you can overclock it as much as you like. If you have a decent air cooler or a liquid cooler or a custom loop then you can overclock it pretty very high. And then we have the new i7-7800X and has about 8.25 megabytes of cache memory and it is 6 rear and 12 thread processor has a base clock of 3.5 GHz and will cost you about 380 bucks. And the last two processor we have in Intel's lineup is called the i7-7700X and i5-7640X. So the i7-7740X has 8 megabytes of cache memory and 4 core 8 threads, 4.3 GHz base clock and it will cost you about 339 bucks. So the i7-7740X uh, specs is quite similar to the i7-7 generation 7700K but this X series processor has a higher base clock of 4.3 GHz and will cost you the same amount of money that uh, will cost you if you want to buy a 7700K. And the last processor of X series is i5 76 40x with 6 megabytes of cache memory it has 4 cores 4 threads and has a base clock of 4 gigahertz so the i5 7640x has the same amount of cores and same amount of threads that you can find in a 7 generation i5 processors and will cost around the same if you want to buy a 7 generation 
i5 processors so if you want to make a gaming build or if you want to game on your system then grabbing an intel processor is really really good because it has more faster cores and it has some awesome awesome technologies that will help you to game more fluently and get more fps but if you are a video editor or graphics animator or graphics designer or something like that you do lots of editing lots of vfx animation and then grabbing a Ryzen Threadripper is a absolutely good idea because the more codes and more threads will help you to render faster and will really really help you in video editing and graphics animation. AMD is making some good stuff. So I think trusting in AMD will not fail you because the Ryzen series is really really good because it is beating uh, the Intel's i7 lineup head to head. Nowadays most of the games like Battlefield or GTA 5 or most uh, recently games can only use 4 cores and up to 8 threads. So if you grab a multi-core processor and multi-thread processor like the AMD's Threadripper or Intel's i9 lineup this will not help you to get more APS because the games can only use 4 cores and 8 threads so if you have 10 cores, 20 cores, 13 cores that doesn't even matter so grabbing a i9 lineup for gaming or a Threadripper for gaming is not fine because this will just cost you more rather than if you have more money please invest on a good GPU go and grab a 1080 Ti uh, or a 1080 this will uh, help you to get more FPS in gaming and you can play more and more in 4K resolution with a playable FPS. But most of the Adobe softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, or Adobe Media Encoder, and some other rendering softwares or some softwares like Handbrake can utilize uh, this kind of cores. Uh, but Handbrake is not optimized for using this huge amount of cores like 12 threads uh, or 12 cores, 24 threads. But it will help you to render the movies or render the video a lot more faster. If you want to use the AMD Straight Dipper for e video editing, then it will help you to render the video or the movie a lot faster. If you are an Intel fanboy, don't hate AMD because AMD is making some good stuff and some good processors. And if you have some money lying around, just go and grab a i9 lineup. And if you want the best budget CPU and want more processor and more processing powers, then go and grab a AMD's. Ryzen Thread Reapers, this will help you and will cost you less. So guys, that's it. I hope you understand what I am trying to say in this whole video and this whole long video. So I think my thoughts helped you to decide what the... Pro so I think my... So I think my thoughts helped you to decide what processor you should get. Should you go with Intel or should you go with AMD? And I think I am going to make another video describing this tube lineup and... That's it. If you like this video, there is a like button below. Go and smash the like button. And if you have not subscribed yet in my channel, go and here and subscribe to my channel. You can also subscribe by clicking this button here. And for your kind information, my channel has some awesome, awesome tech news, tech videos, and some tutorials. I think you will find that helpful. So please visit my channel and I will see you in my next video. Until that, be happy, always be happy, and stay with technology.